Today we're going to take a look at film emulation software. When DSLRs first hit the market, the film look was all about shallow depth of field. Recently there's been another added shift toward film emulation, which changes the color values of digital footage to more closely match common film stocks. This can be achieved through standalone software, plugins such as those for After Effects, Resolve, or Premiere Pro, or by using color lookup tables commonly referred to as LUTs. An easy way to think about this is that it's the same process as color matching to different digital cameras using a color checker chart, except now you're color matching your digital footage to a color chart shot on film. So how does a film emulator work and what all can it do? Well, all film emulators have different interfaces and specific advantages, but there are some general features they all usually share. Lookup tables are a bit different and we'll look at those in a second. With film emulators, once you have imported your footage, you have the option to specify which camera, model, and color profile you shot with, such as Cine Style, S-Log2, or Neutral. Once you've inputted that information, you can move on to the film settings by selecting which film stock you want to convert your footage to. There are a variety of popular film stocks to choose from like Kodak, Fuji, and Polaroid. Adding in film grain is another popular feature to film emulators. This can help really sell the look. The different grains are typically scans of actual film grain from their respective film stocks. And using grain will also break up any color banding or unwanted artifacts that could result on footage with a lower color bitrate. Other color adjustment and fine tuning options are usually included as well. And some may even give you the option to select your film size such as 35, 16, or 8 millimeter, which will cut down on details to match the vintage look. Lookup tables are more of a quick drag and drop option that can quickly color match your digital footage to a specific film look. LUTs won't have the same fine tune options or grain, but these settings can often be tweaked in the programs you're already using to color grade with, such as DaVinci Resolve or After Effects. And since LUTs can usually be acquired individually or in small sets, these can be a more affordable option if you're needing something quick or on a budget. It's worth noting though that most film emulators include a host of LUTs along with their software. So you can also use those LUTs outside of the application if needed. In my opinion, film emulated footage makes it easier to craft your own signature look because it allows you to quickly and effectively steer your footage away from the sterile look of digital cameras. This allows for a more moody and nostalgic color grade. This look may not be for everyone though and some of the downsides to film emulation would be the higher contrast look that is often associated with it. This can tear down the high dynamic range appearance that you may have wanted to go for. This can still usually be adjusted back to taste though through fine tuning. Lower saturation can be another downside. This is because older film stocks typically weren't as highly saturated as the digital looks we have now. This doesn't mean you can't achieve high saturation though, and again this can still be tuned to taste, but just keep in mind that when film emulation is first applied, the footage may become desaturated. And if you're working with a client who isn't used to the lower saturated film look, they may perceive the footage as being bland. I personally like this look, but to each their own. Some suggested uses for film emulation would be any projects you want to have a throwback aesthetic on, or just projects you want to stray away from the standard digital look. I really enjoy using film emulation on CG and motion graphics to help give them a more organic feel and to blend them in with my footage. So there's definitely a variety of uses for film emulation. Finally, just to wrap up, two film emulators I highly recommend would be Koji Color, which was developed by Dale Gran, a color timer for Steven Spielberg and Francis Ford Coppola, and Film Convert, which works with a host of applications along with a standalone version. Also, a good place to start if you're looking for film LUTs would be Vision Color and their 35mm film emulation packs. I'll provide links for all of these in the blog description. This has been Charles Jager for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.